It's no secret I spent a year and a half of my life living in a sprinter van and traveling full time. I guess I've been like, I don't know, somewhat vocal about it or something. <laughs> I've shared how I sold all of my stuff, and I mean all of it, and ventured out on the road to live an unconventional life of travel and adventure. What I wasn't as vocal about during this time was how excited I was to have a home again. A home that I could buy furniture and decor for and make a space that I loved and could relax in. Well, it's finally time. We're starting completely from scratch. Remember the part where I said I sold all of my stuff? And we're creating a comfy, minimal, and chic oasis. So I think the easiest way to do this is tackling it room by room. I have pieces that I've ordered and they're all going to be arriving at different times. So it's not like I can do all of this in one day or even like in a couple of weeks, honestly. And I think this is going to be a couple of months long ordeal. So for the sake of my sanity, let's just be real. This video was filmed over a span of like four months. So I think it's gonna be best to start with the bathroom because that is the only room that I'm actually ready to decorate right now. All the pieces for this room have arrived and we're ready to go. We have a few packages here. So this is a bath mat. It's not just any bath mat, it's like a stone bath mat. I've seen ads for these for years and I think they look really cool. I don't know if they absorb water, but you step onto them when you get out of the shower and they like self-dry. So this is it. It's just literally like a slab. So I'll go buy our shower. And then our shower is kind of a pain in the butt because there's no way to hang just a normal shower caddy on the like shower head like you normally would. All the other shower caddy type situations we found require drilling into the shower, which we're not allowed to do. So I had to get suction cup shelving and I'm a little worried they're not gonna hold. We're gonna try them out. And I started out with two, I might order two more. So it looks like you could put it up straight or you could bend it possibly. Maybe not, oh yeah. So it could go in the corner of the shower. So I don't know which corner I want this in. Probably makes the most sense on that one. I'm really crossing my fingers that these work. I'm not sure how I feel about this. They just stick out so far. I can already tell these don't really seem to be holding. So I'm not gonna put anything in them yet and just see, I'll check back in a few hours and see what they're looking like. I hate this kind of stuff. So frustrating. Andy and I have been super into cold plunging probably the past like four or five months. And obviously we don't have access to a real cold plunge, but I just like to do it in the shower. I've read about it and I've learned that if you get 11 minutes a week of like cold plunging, you get the health benefits. And I definitely notice a difference. But now I've gotten us a little timer. Yep, they're on the shelf. I might just have to do them not in the corner and maybe they'll work better. I kind of hate that though, because they are uneven. Hopefully this one holds. So it shows humidity, temperature, the time, and you can hit 10 minutes or one minute, like however many times you want. And then it'll give you a timer and the time goes down there and then it automatically starts. So this way I can do an actual timed cold plunge, just like in the shower instead of a pool. So it turns out we were able to get the shelves to stick in the shower. It turns out you just have to throw like your entire body weight into it to get it to stick and stay. So they are actually working out. I'm finally gonna put all this stuff in their spot on the shelves. And then I also went to Trader Joe's this morning and I got some eucalyptus and lavender that I wanna put in the shower. And I have a candle too, which I thought might be kind of cool for the shower. You're gonna put flowers in the shower. Where? On the jar head. <laughs> on the shower head. <laughs> oh my God.
so I bought this print for $4 on Etsy and I was like obsessed with it and I wanted to blow it up really big and hang it somewhere cool. And we needed a vertical picture above the toilet, so I decided to just have it printed as a poster from Walmart, which I did, which was like $20. And then I got the frame from Michaels for about $20. So in total, this was like $45, which I feel like that's pretty good for um, a piece that is this large. I'm just hoping once I get it hung that I like how it looks and how it turned out in this spot. Hey, okay, let's get this to go. Andy, yeah. could you come here quick? I need you to look at this. Tell me which one looks better. Right here? Or right there? Right there. Right there? Yeah. Right here? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's way too high. No. I ended up Googling how high to hang it because I had it way too high. Or I wanted to put it was too low. So Google said from the center of the picture to the floor it should be between 58 and 62 inches. I think I like it. I definitely don't love it like I thought that I would, but maybe once I get all the other pieces in the bathroom that I want, I'll like it a little bit more. I definitely think the concept is super cute though. I was not expecting to love. I was really struggling in the store, but I think I do like it. Once we get some flowers added in here, I think it's gonna really tie everything together. Surprise, we have a car now. This is a 2003 Honda Civic. It only has like 30,000 miles. So it has been so nice to just have a car to like bop around in instead of having to take the hog when you need to like just run a quick errand. But I had a dentist appointment and after the dentist appointment, I went to this place called City State. Everything in there was super expensive, but I probably would have gotten something there. Like if I absolutely loved it and we still needed like that piece, but I didn't see anything that we still needed that I absolutely loved, but we do need something to go in the vase that I got for the bathroom. And so I got these little like frond things. I'll just show you when I get inside actually. So I ended up taking away the thing I have right there. It just like wasn't really working. It was too big. Hopefully this works. Oh man, that is pretty tall. Yeah, I think that might be too big. <laughs> man, people are gonna come in here and think we're weird, huh? Those peacock feathers? They're just too tall. Yeah. If they were oh, like man. here, that would be good. Maybe if I did fewer of them. I don't think so. I'm not a fan. So I did end up deciding to keep these, but I swapped them out for a lighter color and I'm liking this way better. And I also did only get two of them instead of like six or seven, however many I had, because it was just like so harsh with how many there were and the darker brown color. And I'm really liking this like more lighter neutral. And now that I have like that, I'm really liking how it's like tying in with the Surf's Up Cowboy. I think it's really cute. I'm also thinking eventually like I'll add to this over time, but it works for now Like I think eventually if I got some like more pops of color to add to it that it would be pretty cute But it's good enough for now I also got this little tray from Target and then I just kind of filled it with you know the essentials So there's like lotion soap, just a little candle and essential oil We 
don't have a toaster yet, so we're using the van toaster still. You silly boy. So I just did a quick workout, even though things are pretty hectic right now. I've been utilizing our new gym, because it's just like really sweet that we have that. So excited about that. But uh, we are moving on today to the living room. We already have a couch put together. Um, I put that in a separate video, an earlier video from this one. Um, so I won't like re-add those clips, but we do already have a couch. We're gonna add frames. We have our wedding frames that we wanna hang above the couch. And then we need to get like a TV and a TV stand, probably like some rugs and a coffee table um, if the space allows. So it's exciting stuff. We just got our stand for the TV. So we're gonna put all of this in here. I just measured this area for a rug and then I also measured the bedroom for a rug. I don't know for sure if we're gonna put one in the bedroom, but if I find one that is like the exact size I will, but I'm definitely gonna prioritize finding one for the living room today. I think we're gonna start at Home Goods, and if I don't find anything there, maybe Ikea. I don't love the rug selection at Target, but if I'm desperate, I might go there too. I got some other things that we've been needing. I got a big colander because we just have a mini one. I got a wooden cutting board because we only have one cutting board and we definitely need multiple. I got these to go in the closet up above because we just have a lot of little random things and this will help them like stay organized. I got a soap dispenser for the kitchen sink. Not sure about this, I might end up returning this, but I just didn't see one that I loved and this was the one that I liked the most. And then I got this to hold all my shoes because my shoes right now are just laying on the floor in the closet and it's driving me nuts. I feel like they need like a home. So hopefully this will fit all of them. It should, cause I don't have that many shoes. How are we gonna do this? This is huge. How much was this? So I just went to pick up Henry from the groomer and on the way home, I took a wrong turn. I ended up on a totally wrong ramp to like a different part of town. And I ended up back at City Home where I got some previous decor. They had a new shipment of coffee tables in, which I've been looking for a coffee table and I found one that was reasonable and it like just so happened to match the wood that our TV sits on. And I just feel like the color of the wood matches like perfectly. I don't know if you can really tell, but that was lucky.
I'm not a huge Vogue fan, like I'm not super into fashion, but I wanted to get a coffee table book just so we had something on this table and I'm really liking how it looks. I am gonna run to Home Goods. So I'm just gonna go like browse and look around. We do need cups and mugs, so I might specifically look for what they have um, for that and just kind of like browse the decor and get some ideas. Well, that was kind of a bust. I did get two things. I got a wooden turner. I wanna transition into wood utensils for cooking versus like, I don't know, plastic and rubber. And then I got this basket. Hopefully it fits in our cupboard, but we have one section of the cupboard that's gonna be just for, it's basically a junk drawer, but it's a cupboard. And I figured this could help keep things slightly more organized, but I found zero cups or mugs that I liked. I also looked for bowls and I didn't find any of those that I liked. That's kind of a bummer because I really thought I was gonna get those at Home Goods. So now I'm not really sure where to go. Please fit, please fit. Oh yeah, she fits. You enjoy this stuff, don't you? <laughs> yeah. the mess right now but I finally have silverware and a drawer organizer for the silverware. I got a bamboo seven slot drawer organizer. It's gonna take up like all of the space in this drawer. I wasn't gonna get a butter dish, but I decided we did need one because we're just leaving our butter sitting out all the time. And I got the most beautiful butter dish from Anthropology. I'll admit it wasn't cheap, but probably gonna have it like forever, so. So pretty. Got these mugs from Crate and Barrel. They're just these clear glass, double walled. I feel like they're fun for coffee and tea and stuff. Unfortunately, I feel like these are easily breakable, but I only got four, so. Just gonna run them through the dishwasher. I don't know what most people do. It's pretty nasty to me that there was a day that I would buy dishes, usually just off the shelf and just put them straight in the cupboard to be used, not run them through the dishwasher first. So 
So I actually ended up putting our coffee pot in a cabinet because we really don't use it that much. We are definitely coffee people, but um, we have a coffee machine down in the lobby that makes way better coffee than just like normal drip coffee. So we typically just get our coffee downstairs in the morning. And since we don't really use our personal coffee pot that much, I put it away for now. And instead we have our toaster because we obviously use that pretty regularly, the beautiful butter dish, and then our little electric whisker. This is really good for like mixing greens, like greens powder and making um, like frothy milk. So that's been a fun little purchase. And then I actually ended up putting the charging station over here by the TV. It just makes more sense. It's literally a hub for all of your tech. So we have our laptops, our Kindles. It's where we charge our phone. So like, it's just nice to know no matter what your devices are all in the same place. It just makes it really simple. So I'm a huge fan of this charging station. And here is our little junk cupboard. <laughs> just kind of an accumulation of a bunch of stuff. Okay, we have a mission today to find a full-length mirror. We have some stores that we're going to. I don't know if we're gonna find one, but I'm crossing my fingers and staying positive because nothing I'm seeing online is like interesting me. So we'll see what we can get. That's so cute. You're not getting a mirror that big. <laughs> Why? This is the mirror I ended up getting. I did end up finding one online. It's not exactly what I was wanting. It is bigger than just like your standard full length mirror, which is like the main goal I had. So like, I like it enough. It's, you know, pretty wide and very tall. I originally wanted a massive mirror that would basically take up this entire space, but that in the middle of that area just doesn't look right. It's on a stand in the back. So with that out, it just sticks way out and just kind of looks funny if it's in the middle of this wall. So kind of like it angled off to the side. And I think eventually I'll get some thing to go on the floor as decor next to it. This also drives me nuts, the outlet and the cords. So I'm thinking if I get decor for right there, it would maybe cover it up a little bit more and it's not like such an eyesore. But this mirror is from Wayfair. It was a good price for a mirror this size. Yeah, overall I think it works. So not exactly what I wanted, but you know, it gets the job done. This is the room that's been neglected the most. The bed is literally all we have done so far for this. And I think it's all we are gonna do for quite a while. I did get two rugs that I've layered. The bottom one is from Pottery Barn and then the top one is from like Rugs USA or something like that. I think it's Rugs USA. So I kind of went for the layered look and then I really wanna get nightstands on each side of the bed, but they would have to be very narrow and very small because it would literally have to only go out to like right here. <laughs> so that's a very narrow nightstand because it can't interfere with like the closet. I do feel like it looks too bare in here. I think I wanna get artwork for up above the bed at some point, but right now it's just like not really on the priority list because I've been focusing on the other rooms and been spending a lot of money on furniture and you know, just all this stuff costs money. So I think this is like where we're gonna leave it for now and eventually I will add more to this room. I do love this Pottery Barn rug though. I think it's so pretty. I think at this point I have come to a really good stopping point for now with decorating my apartment. I have at this point every piece that we physically need. We have all the furniture we need. I've done like the minimum amount of decorating possible. I spent a lot of money and I'm ready for a break from that. So I think we're gonna call it good for now. And then as time goes on, I'm sure I will add more. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell notification. Thank you